Hello everyone! Hi! Can you guess what we're playing today? They probably have no idea. They do, it's in the title of the video! Oh, okay! Well done guys, <laughs> you are all correct! We are playing Dragon's Crown! Isn't this game beautiful? Isn't it all like hand-drawn? Yes, it came out, it's like hand-painted. It came out right at the end of the PS3's life cycle. It's also on the Vita, I own it on both. Um, and it's just so good. So this is, it's like a side-scrolling beat-em-up, but meshed with RPGs. Um, I'm Aravin. Uh, I'm, I'm Adam, but I'm playing as Aravin here. <laughs> um, and uh, this is Amelia, she's playing as Avoria. Yep. I'm the dwarf and Amelia is the very busty sorceress, is that correct? Okay, 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 everyone just watch me run. <laughs> I still, I love, do it again, yeah, there we go. I love how she holds her hat, not her rack that's flailing madly. So, alright, let's free this thing. Actually, yeah. Can we? Yeah, I liberated the fairy. fairy! So this whole game, this game is, uh, as I said, a size scrolling beat em up. Mashed very heavily with RPGs, so you, you level up. I think the max level is like, like 255 now. They improved it after launch. And, uh, you have all your equipment and all sorts. It's absolutely brilliant. And, uh... If you couldn't tell, we start a new file, so we're getting all this tutorial garbage. We love which tutorial Which we stuff. will apologise for in advance. It's but... fine, it'll make other people learn about the game. <laughs> yeah, so here we are, we got Roland the Barbarian Warrior here. It's just drawn so well. People complained that the lady in this was overly sexualised. There was a massive backlash, but then look at all the bloody blokes as well. Let's be honest here. Snake, die. Yeah. So you're a magic user, is that correct? Can you I explain am. a bit about how your character works? Um, I have not played this game for a long time, but I have discovered that I have this shiny thing on square. Top class explanation going on here. Um, and I can cast ice like this on a circle. Excellent. So I am um, I'm a far more melee character. Normally I'd be the elf, but this guy's just funny. So I just literally leap in and hit people with my face and I throw them around and I, I, I do a little sonic impression in the sky. Oh. Get over here and recharge. I killed them all. Cool. Um, so we have this little dude, the rogue, following us, and you can order him around, use the right stick, and we get this little hand, and then uh, you tell him to unlock stuff. And we get treasure! And look, it's turkeys, like Streets of Rage. So this is basically what became of the genre that Streets of Rage is in. It's, it's, a, it's incredibly similar in structure once you're in a stage, but yeah. obviously you've got all the RPG wrapping that Streets of Rage did not have. Okay. So and I love it. Yeah, so we're just doing the first stage here, which is the, uh, we want to get admittance to the Adventurers Guild, so we're doing the task he set for us. Oh no, a spider! <laughs> I just threw it. Ha! I was just like, I love this guy, he's just so stupidly fun. Spider! Oh no, spider. The spider dead, the spider's dead. Yeah, I'm doing a good belly flop impression everywhere. <laughs> I just, it's just so well animated, you eat food to get your health back, obviously. How do I eat food? Um, you just stand still. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's a foreign idea to you, I know. But like when you've uh, when you've got food in your hand, you just walk over it and you pick it up to get it in your hand. Yep. Uh, when you've got food in your hand, you stand still and you'll just use it. So this looks like it's going to hit me if you stand on it. Yep, there we are. Oh. There you go. There's some food. Um, um, go and grab it. Um, yeah, now um, come stand still and get your health. Because you can go over your maximum health. It's like a buffer, but you won't regenerate it using like curative spells or anything like that. I really like This you're game here. really slipped under why so I can ask to answer questions. No, so that you can uh, tell me where not to step. <laughs> so this game uh, Amelia can hit me for the record as, as you just saw there she hit me with a rice spell. Oh, but, oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. So on each one I've got a different spell. Okay, get it. I, get I can it. throw my weapon in the floor and then walk around with my fists. If that helps. I think you just left your weapon on the floor. No, nah, I just get it back when we oh, change okay. uh, areas. You can pick you up pawns! This is how you uh, get extra adventurers to tr travel with you. Once you finish a stage, you can go back to like uh, a church, I think, and uh, revive dead adventurers from their bones, ah. and then you can bring them with you. So this is actually a four-player cooperative game. We did play this four-player a lot in our student house. I say a lot. I think we didn't put as much time into this as we perhaps should have done. It's nice that you're by you're being a bystander here. No, I'm charging up my magic. It better be great when you finish. Here you go. Here's my magic. That was it. <laughs> yeah. That was it. Get here. It's not letting me hit you. Okay. <laughs> I tried really hard. Okay. Okay. Let's just carry on. A lot of run. This is near like where the this. bosses, I think. Yeah. That you know. That's all you need to do. So, oh, you uh, missed some food. It's a good idea to pick some up. This harpy is very weird, because she's got like a completely normal, slight top half. Right, this is where you should shine. Do some area of effect magic. Like that? 
Anything that will hit an area. That did quite a lot, didn't it? It did. Keep going, because I don't have a weapon. I've got to pick it up. And I can't get it, because it's underneath her. Okay, that's great. We've knocked her down. Now go smack her in her face. That's your, that's your forte. You're not wrong. I just like this game, so I can pick stuff up and just hurl it around. This guy is so ridiculous. So th there are six classes you can be. Can we name them? Uh, You're the sorceress. Yeah, there's a ranger, isn't there? There's a wizard. The ranger is called the elf. You know, if you want to help, that's fine. <laughs> He's just flying me in the sky and you're admiring the scenery. Uh, there's obviously me, the dwarf, and you've got... Um, isn't there Isn't there a barbarian? A female barbarian with yeah. massive chun -Li thighs. Yes. And she's, like, incredibly good. And there's a massive tanky warrior man. There you go. Those are the classes. We did it. Yep, we did do that. There we go. And we obtained some treasure. Yeah, not bad. Um, we're skipping the cutscenes, obviously. If you want to see us do a full playthrough of this, let us know. I bloody love this game, so I will play anything. And we never finished it either. You know why? Because I got it. It was the last game I ever bought on PS3. Oh, and then we got the PS4. And then I got a PS4 and uh, lent a bit more heavily towards PC again. So, uh, right, so this is where, if you remember, you've got all these items that we found. And oh, you, can you can choose whether you want to unlock them or not, and I can't be bothered to do this now, so we'll just sell and quit. Yep. Onwards and upwards. Yes, absolutely. But it's, it's such a deep game, and it's so fun. After launch, they added, like, um, a multi-leveled new dungeon. I have a feeling it's randomly generated. And also... Go on, let's run. Go on, boob flap in the wind. Whee! So here's a funny thing. You can actually fight each other while you're in the town. There goes Amelia. Um, and then I go in here before she has a task to retaliate. I will remember this. You can uh, fight, yes, as I said. So you can fight in town, but if you hit any of the bystanders, you can get arrested. I'll skip over this dude, see what he wants me to do. What did he say? Stuff. You can now go to Canaan Temple. Let's so this is the temple you go to to revive the bones. The place we just run past is the item shop, as it said, and on the far left is the tavern. There's your lightning town tour. <laughs> um... So we can resurrect the bones we found of Angus, Angus. level two. Angus is a good Scottish name. It's all so well animated. I, I think this game is incredible. Is it Stephen Fry who's talking in the background? Reverse death. I think it's someone hired to sound like Stephen Fry. <laughs> it's they not. Um, quite afford him. I don't like he. You know he narrates Little Big Planet with, mm. and he also Hugh Laurie has a voice in Little Big Fra Planet. Yeah. So Fry and Laurie got reunited, which is nice. Um. But I don't think it's Stephen Fry. It crossed my mind as well. He so we'll have a look. He sounds very much like him. He has a very distinctive voice. He does have a distinctive voice. Any adventurers you resurrect will wait for you. Oh, the they'll end. wait for us at the inn. Do we want to? Bring it is not Stephen Fry. Oh. No, we don't. Let's just do the two of us. It's not taking no for an answer. Leave tavern. <laughs> now Saving. There's a little Tinkerbell there. I like Tinkerbell. I've got pins and needles in my right leg. Why? Look, the the Wee. I don't know how this woman does this, but it looks really painful. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, really. And I also really don't painful. understand why she's running and she secures her hat. Yeah. Not uh, her flailing uh, extra limbs. What, does why work? doesn't she like wear, wear a more. I don't want to learn skill, dress. but I would like a quest. What, sorry? Why doesn't she wear a more adequate dress? I don't know. I don't think uh, she'd be as a, a, a uh, you know, she's a fairly fleshed out character, if you catch my drift. A new from the guild. Uh, we, so this, this game does have a full story to it, and uh, there's so many stages you go through. Right now I'm just triggering the next stage. We maybe should have skipped this, but we didn't, so oh, thank well, you for sticking with us. You Why did you get back in, huh? Because that's what you have to do next. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I like how you're like, yeah, okay, he definitely knows what he's talking about. I haven't got a fucking clue, Amelia. I didn't mean to go back in. Um, there you go, we've got to go into the ruins of the old capital. If you'll put me down. If you'll. <laughs> oh, how, do, how do you throw? It's a thing that my guy can do. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, each character is so unique. That's, that's the best thing about this game. So, the character I normally play is called the elf. I've got quite a high level elf. Um,. And they're all about using a bow and quick attacks and combos, aren't they? Yeah. And the, it's the, incredible. You, you, you just have to stop a bow. I think I've That's used why. know by now. Yeah. That so I, I love a, a character with a bow, and the elf has a bow. Um, you like people with magic. You just I like do. sparkly things. So here we are. I don't want to revisit that. Let's go to the new one. Yes. Can we do this level? Find out now. 
Well, we can try. You may now press start to check your currently accepted Excellent. quests. Let's continue. I like my double jump. I like how I can just pick people up and throw them. It's very powerful. It makes me feel great because you can just hurl them around and jump into them. I so there's so much this guy can do because you can jump up and then flatten down and all sorts like I'm doing now. And it's all stuff I'm controlling. That's not uh, just uh, an automatic combo. It's, it's a really fleshed out thing. Angus! I you? didn't invite you! <laughs> he came to save me, so he is the warrior class. Okay, so we've got an extra dude with us now, yeah? Yeah, he can do what he, can do what he fancies. I'm sure he'll be of help. Here you go, have some uh, money. Money, 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 money. Like how I just exploded a scorpion. I mean, are you going to hit something soon? Yeah, look, here you go. When We're you see blue anything. numbers, you do damage. Yeah. <laughs> So we can uh, tell our little dude to unlock that while we kill this. There you go, there's blue numbers. That is incredibly good. You should yep. do that more often. It takes up so much. So normally you are in the supporting role, aren't you? Ooh, yay, bonuses. Yeah, Ooh, normally bonuses. I'm the secondary. So, uh, I mean, no, in, in this in this game, oh. you are the sorceress who is incredibly powerful, but almost useless on her own. Arguably the hardest character to play. Did she get heal later on? I think she I, might do. Maybe. I can't remember. I never played her. But like, I know that you're supposed to sit and charge these spells and do your massive area of effects. Yeah. Like uh, when we had two other human players with us. You have to wait until you leap out of the water before you can hit them. But we'll I think we can go over to the right anyway. Let's run... We can. Um, but yeah, so you would charge up your spells and then cast them at opportune moments while we're doing, uh, while we're distracting, essentially. Because you have, like the wizard, some insanely powerful skills. You just got to get a chance to cast yeah. them. Oh, ha! You see how like my numbers are going up and they go up to three hundred. That's yes. the amount of like, it's like my mana. Oh, that reminds me. The the uh, maid, the elf in this has a finite number of arrows. You have to pick them up, don't you? Yeah. That's crazy. I remember that. And you can like upgrade the amount of arrows you have. I'm destroying these guys. I really like the uh, uh, the dwarf. Completely different. Completely different from my usual playstyle. No, because I like being able to jump around and combo and stuff. Because the elf can like fire arrows down and up and like you can leap over people and just embed their face with arrows. Especially good for grounding aerial bosses, of which there are several. Oh, I like, I, I remember how much I like this lady. She's cool. Yeah, I'm remembering how much I like this game, actually. Yeah. Really fun. Really Which, satisfying game. I love games that are hand-drawn as well. Talking while I'm leaning forward to mask the sound of my chair. So that was more bones, so we'll have yet another adventure in the next uh, next stage that we do. Yep. Which uh, unfortunately won't be in this video. But if you want to see us play more of this, play through it. Because uh, we're going to finish uh, Sonic in the not too distant. Yeah. Then uh, that would be great to know. So yeah, we'll find out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this and I'm just gonna throw it into his face. But yeah, if you, want, if you want us to play more of this, just let us know. Or any other game for that matter. We take requests. We do take requests. Preferably a game that is actually available in the UK. <laughs> so you're a character that comes into your own later on, really, I think. I think so, yeah. I don't know, I'm doing quite a lot of damage. Don't forget you can uh, use health potions. If you need to. No, use I'm the cool. D-pad level. Well, you are on half health and he is summoning extras. Come on, Angus, save us. Yeah. Save me. Oh! No! Don't forget to heal. I'm eating my apple now. No, I mean, like, use your potion. Use left and right on your D-pad to select it and then hold circle. Circle. Oh! I mean, tap down, sorry. I was holding tap circle. Down. I was saying hold circle because that's your special and I wanted to use my special. And I was just there we go, I having that horrible moment where you can't work out the right things to say. I'm still attacking him, he's nearly down. He's the green one is the main one. If you kill him yep. you win and the other ones go away. Okay, green one. This one. Ow. I'm very scared. No, I am very you can scared. Do this. Angus is dead! I mean it was inevitable. Pick up your pick up your weapons, thank you. Oh, I, I am in trouble here. Oh no 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 Are you down? No, I'm just drinking a health potion, but I have to stay still. Pick up oh, this we're boulder. Ha! I threw the boulder. We're nearly there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we did it. That was tense. It's such a fun game. Yeah. It is really fun. It is. It feels like Streets of Rage. I mean, if they'd skinned this to be you fighting people in a street, 
it would, uh, have, it would have just felt like Streets of Rage. And it's lovely. It's a really good game. So if you haven't picked this up, please consider actually looking into it. Because I know it came out on PS3 and, and Vita, and those are generations past almost now. It's so but fun. it is amazing, and I can't recommend it enough. So thank you for joining us today. And we'll see you again next time where we'll be playing something else. <laughs> if you enjoy what we do, consider subscribing. Or following us on Twitter because yeah. I say things on Twitter sometimes. Amelia says things on Twitter sometimes. Yeah. Excellent. And without further ado, we'll let you get back to your day. Goodbye. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.